Hi, it's Ray Mills, your VBA craftsman. I want to demonstrate my stock price or function. Um, I've done this before and the quality of the video wasn't acceptable, so I'm redoing it. Okay, uh, this is uh, uses the Yahoo Finance API to pull down stock prices. So let's get right into it. Um, let's do an insert. Oh, no, sorry, we want to do a formula. And we insert a function. Now, I happen to know this one's called market pricer as I wrote it. And we say OK. So we'll see that it has two variables, the symbol or stock ticker, and then the market data type. And the market data types are limited to four different ones, regular market price, I'm sorry, five, um, exchange name, in instrument type, post-close, and previous close, okay? So in this case, we know we want to look up one. We start here looking up. A5, but we know the row is always going to be f the column that we're pulling it from is 5, so I want to lock in and make the absolute, I'm sorry, the absolute column A, okay? So we hit enter for that. And then we want to put in um, the market data type. In this case, we want the market price. It's not trading yet, so it may not show up, so it's, it's early in the morning I'm doing this. Uh, so let's do this, and let's pick that. Now, again, we always know that the row has to be three as we copy it across. So we'll lock three with the dollar sign. Okay. And you see the definitions here. So let's go okay. Now, nothing came back. Why? So I've designed this so that um, even though it's a function, it, it will only, that function will only be called when we hit this fetch. Now, the fetch is only, uh, I'll show you how it works very simply. Okay. So here's the code for it, I believe. Oh, no, this is not the code. Let's get to the code. Uh, where's my market price? They're very easy. Yes, there is stock price of function. Okay, so if we look at the code, the fetch, the main thing it does is it says uh, boo fetch is true. So it sets this variable boo fetch. It's a, it's a public variable. And then it asks it to calculate, right? Then it'll go go out and uh, recalculate any functions you happen to have in there. So if you look here, what I the function market price cert, which takes two variables, you see that up here. And I'm again, I'm Ray Mills, and I'm with the uh, Excel and VBA Craftsman. Now um, we use an HTTP um, request to pull it down, but uh, in the very beginning, I check if boo fetch is false, then exit the function. In other words, don't go out and do. Uh, don't go out and and do ex, don't go out and do a, a server retrieve. So, the purpose of this is to manage um, the number of times you go out to the server. And if anybody's worked with a, a large uh, spreadsheet with uh, numerous functions and complicated a lot of calculations, uh, you're you're inclined to say, let me turn calculation off, recalculation off. The prob that is a very dangerous thing to do because. From personal experience, I've learned that the possibility exists that you could finish up, think you have a number, and that number is not the correct number because it hasn't recalculated fully. You haven't hit F9. So um, I happen to believe that uh, you, that uh, I prefer this. I'm in control, and I know when it's done. Okay? And plus, it, you know, you'll be, you'll be trying to work on the spreadsheet. It's recalculating. It's slowing you down. And you'll see that calculating pop up down here. So let's hit the fetch and see if it goes out and finds our number. Okay, the regular market price is 168.37. So let's um, and let's copy that across. And nothing come back again. And we hit there and bam, there's our prices. Okay. Previous close, so it looks like it's dropped a little bit overnight. Let's go here. Now, if we go here, just go. Uh, again, it didn't calculate. Hit the fetch, and it'll go out and get it. It may take a few seconds. Now, I do have a, a sleep in the code to, to make it uh, slower. I don't want my work to be like a, um, a denial of service attack where I'm just hitting it. Boom, 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 boom. You know, the, that, that's not what I want to do. I want to be a good... Um, global internet citizen and uh, if I'm hitting someone's uh, well that looks it looks silly I don't think we have that many shares of VZ let's say we have 700 <laughs> okay so this is quite a nice portfolio here 591,000 and it goes out prices it and you see it brings back the exchange what type of instrument it is now interestingly enough you can see even this telephone New Zealand 
um, is on the pink sheets, which means it's uh, not traded on the New York Stock Exchange, American, etc. Um, pretty cool. Brings it back. So it, it looks like it has a pretty good data, uh, data diversity of stocks that they will provide uh, stocks, mutual funds, and ETFs that will provide uh, data for. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, so this would be the first part of my two part series on uh, how to uh, portfolio, how to build a portfolio pricing system and, uh, you know, bring back uh, dividend data and have it scheduled dividend data so that you could check your dividends. Okay. So uh, oops, we don't want that. We want that. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through it briefly. As I said, it uses uh, it uses an HTTP request, and if you go here and look at references, you'll see that you have the all important one, Microsoft HTTP Services version 5.1. You need that reference, or it's not going to work. Okay, so we declare some variables. Uh, this is the key one, the HTTP. Uh, object and uh, when you go to uh, my URL and S miscellaneous a couple variables for uh, for counters and then details holds the the five different types of market data that we bring in okay I load them all up we go out and do a pull the pull is by the all important uh, API right and then you'll see that I've added in S ticker S ticker comes from our you can remember it comes from our uh, arguments right so, for example, it would pull this down plus JPM to get JP Morgan's price, right? So it brings back a it brings back a a, a a bunch of text, and all this is about parsing the text and bringing the uh, and bringing back what we need, right? So I parse the text, and you can see I split it a number of times. In this case, I split it by uh, a comma after having split it by a semicolon. Right, and that just breaks it up, and then it does a comparison. Does it have this in there? And then it will bring back the price or the date, depending upon what it, what the information is. So, um, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, put the code out there, and I, I and I, um, if you have any questions, just shoot me something. Uh, shoot me on my email, and you can find it all out on my website, www.excel and VBA Craftsman. Thanks so much. And again, apologies for the prior one. It wasn't up to snuff, and I'm going to check this one right now. Thank you. Bye.